even be Vlogmas without a Trader Joe's haul? Yeah. Are you ready to do this, Sai? Yeah. Let's do it. We're going to Kmart. We're not going to Kmart. We're going to? Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. And shopping buddy with me today and we're headed to Trader Joe's to see if we can find any uh, WW friendly snacks or just I'm anything in general he's taking a day off from school he uh, did not feel good this morning but surprisingly by lunch he felt just fine We have made it back from Trader Joe's and quite a few other stops. And I have to say, my little sickie did wear a mask while we were out just to keep his cop to himself, but he was a real trooper. Um, cause like we tried Bath and Body Works cause it was $10 <laughs> candle day. And even I can't even handle like $10 candle day at, <laughs> at Bath and Body Works. Like I might have to do an online order for that. I'm really just like stuck on what to get my coworkers for Christmas. So if you have great gift ideas for coworkers, please leave them in the comments down below because like I'm just stuck. I'm stuck and I have a few ideas, but trying to keep it mindful like budget wise because I would like to not spend a million dollars. But you came here for my sparkling personality. Now we're going to talk about what I found at Trader Joe's for winter. Um, some of these aren't winter items and I honestly didn't spend a ton of money. I think I spent $50 and that included um, a six pack of beer. Uh, the elf left me a note and said that Trader Joe's was a great place to like do mix your own six pack. So since the elf is leaving Mark beer every day, um, we're helping the elf out. Elvis, Elvis is his name. So. Anyway, first up, just only place you can get them apples. Just kidding. But now that I am back on WW, like I'm eating more fruit or I want to eat more fruit because it's zero point. So I picked up the Ambrosia Gold apples. Very delicious. We also did the Organic Light String Cheese from Trader Joe's. 60 calories per stick and two points. And then... This is a winter item, mini cranberry pistachio biscotti. Two cookies are 130 calories. Now, points wise, these aren't like amazing. Two cookies are seven points. One cookie is four points. Uh, but what I wanted to do when I, like my thought process was to have things that kind of tempt me when I'm out and about like um, I love a good scone from like the local coffee shops. And so if I have these, like I can have them with my coffee here, manage the points, stick to the plan, feel good about everything. I also wanted to pick up some of the Bear Bells uh, protein bars. I love these, super good. This is the chocolate dough and 200 calories and six points on the WW plan. I have tried this flavor before, it's pretty good. And then this is a new to me flavor. This is hazelnut and nougat. Oh, this is plant-based protein. I didn't realize that. But this is 220 calories and five points. Isn't that funny? The one that's 20 calories less is actually one point more. I love WW sometimes. And then hold the cone. I love these. Just like when you need a little something and I am a sucker for peppermint, like, just love peppermint. I stopped at the Fancy Shake Shop, got a white chocolate peppermint mocha shake thing. I don't know, but the Hold the Cone Peppermint, I'm excited. And these are on the teeny side. I had the ginger flavor or pumpkin ginger for the fall. Um, but when you just need something, three cones are 13 points. Like, but 260 calories, but just one is four points. So again, when you want just something sweet and you're trying to like be mindful or find that middle ground, great option. I discovered these, I think last year and love them. 
I cannot tell you how much I love these. These are the mini peppermint meringues from Trader Joe's. And they are 11 cookies for 80 calories. So if you eat 11, it's six points, but you can have two cookies for one point. And it is just like just enough. And they like melt in your mouth and they're amazing and delicious. And I really, really do love them. Now, one thing, I was actually surprised by the points on this. I just had to buy it. Fig butter, I love apple butter, and I will often buy the no sugar added apple butter from uh, the local farmer's market, and I count it as zero because the only ingredients are apples, but I also really love figs. So I guess theme of today, I love peppermint and I love figs. And calorie wise, 45, but I was kind of worried with the sugars. There's um, 10 grams of sugar, seven gram added sugar that I bump up the points, but two table or one tablespoon is two points, which for something like this, I really feel like is a, is a points bargain. I also picked up the fat-free feta. I was wondering, is it still zero points? And it is. Trust me, you don't want me to sing. I, I really apologize. So fat-free feta, great for salads, no points. Amazing. And then what inspired the fat-free feta was that I saw the tzatziki dip, creamy garlic cucumber dip, and that is one point per serving. And I also saw this spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip. I think they called it like reduced guilt or something. I don't know. But this is also 30 calories for two tablespoons, one point. Something like this is really great on a burger in an omelet. It's, you can dip your veggies, those terrible baby carrots. It's amazing. So I'm excited for that. And then I also picked up the reduced guilt mac and cheese. Maybe that's why I got the reduced guilt with the spinach and kale yogurt dip. Who knows? 10 points, 270 calories. And like when I was more counting calories, I didn't mind. I felt like it was a good deal. Good deal. On the point side, I don't know. But if you just throw grilled chicken and veggies with it, you know, like that's a really easy lunch. I also picked up just some olive oil spray. I was listening to this podcast and I don't get too into some of the nitty gritty like fringe science, but this gentleman, and I can't say that this was technically fringe science, but I really like stuff to be thoroughly vetted by people who know what they're doing before I just like jump on the bandwagon. But he was saying that some of the vegetable oils are really bad for you. And, you know, I had always thought like OGWW, canola oil was fine. But he was talking about the oils and how you should only be using 100% extra virgin olive oil or avocado oil. He also said ghee or coconut oil. And I've always kind of avoided some of that stuff because of the flavor, like coconut oil, no, just no. Um, I love butter. Butter is amazing, but that's not great. So we're just moving our steps forward in the event that that will make it easier for me to lose weight as opposed to canola oil. And I thought I would show you just what I picked up at Marshall's because, yeah. So Silas was super attracted to the snow globes and I was like, you look with your eyes, not your hands. And this gentleman, he goes, my mom used to say that too. And one day, buddy, you'll get to, you'll get to like pick everything up and listen. And I thought that was just super sweet and cute. And I'm like, also, please do not encourage my seven-year-old child to touch anything that can break. But I loved this snow globe because I don't know if you can see, it's a gnome and a deer. And that is like my Christmas aesthetic this year, like in one snow globe. So this was $16.99, which I feel like snow globes can get kind of pricey, so that was okay. And then I was a sucker. Maybe it's because my little one is just so cutie patootie. But I picked up the Dash Mini Waffle Maker. This is the Gingerbread Man. If I find it on Amazon, I'll try to link it. Um, 
because it's just trying to create like some memories and I need a big waffle maker because um, ours broke, but um, you know, just create some memories with those kiddos. But if you have found some, any like winter flavory snacky things that you're loving or anything that, again, please tell me what you're buying your coworkers, if you buy your coworkers gifts for Christmas. Um, tell me in the comments down below and this will wrap up another day of Vlogmas. Until next time, do something you love.